Hello and welcome to the Z Hot. Today we're going to take a look at three alternatives to MIT App Inventor. Now, MIT App Inventor is great and it was the original uh, drag and drop, no coding needed app maker. But since then, others have come out. And today I'm going to take and uh, show you, we're going to take a look at three other free app building um, websites. They the one thing they have in common with MIT App Inventor, um, they are pretty much like a similar clone of it, but there's different features and stuff that uh, MIT App Inventor doesn't have. But they're all drag and drop. None of them, uh, you have to know any coding. So, well, of course, here I have open MIT App Inventor. And if you're watching this, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, all the options it has. So we're not going to go over anything on this. But we're going to go over, and the first one we're going to take a look at is called Thunkable. Let me open that up. Now, as you can see, the interface is very similar. It's pretty much just some different coloration. But you can notice it has more things, like in the user interface here, um, see a floating action button. Uh, MIT App Inventor doesn't have that. Um, another one of the big things it has that MIT App Inventor doesn't have, it has the, uh, the option to use ad mob banners and, and uh, full screen ads. Uh, MIT App Inventor doesn't have that. Uh, if you go through, there's a few other things. Those are the two biggest differences um, that I know on here. Because, I mean, you can see there's more stuff in user interface here than MIT has. All right, with that, why don't we just move along and get over to the next one, and that one's Appy Builder. Oh, well, and before I forget, all of these, you have to sign in with an email, and that way they work just like uh, the MIT App Inventor, and it'll store your stuff online. Um, you should be able, if you do some web searching, find offline uh, versions of these, I do believe. I know MIT App Inventor, you can find an offline version, so you don't have to be connected to the Internet. All right, uh, so this is Appy Builder. And once again, you can see, I mean, it's set up very, very much like MIT App Inventor and also like Thunkable. It's pretty much different, uh, different color scheme uh, going to the user interface. And as you can see, this user interface has even more stuff than Thunkable. Uh, ratings bar, I don't think it had that. Spacer. Um, MIT App Inventor, if you wanted a spacer, we always just used a... Uh, a, a label. Um, gallery viewer, I'm not even sure exactly what that one does, but and then once again this one also it has the ability to monetize, but this one you can also monetize with Amazon. And I actually have don't um, do Amazon advertising, advertise their stuff. I know they you get a commission. I actually use AdMob myself. Uh, then there's in-app billing, reward video. Uh, actually, reward video, I do believe, if I remember, it's part of AdMob. My apps, the only thing I use if I put AdMob in them is I use the banner ad. I don't mess it up having full screen ads and make you watch videos and stuff. It's just the most I'll do is put the ad mob banner on them. Uh, all right. And then I'm sure, you know, you go through, there's this one here. You can get the Google Maps. I can't remember for sure. And MIT App Inventor, do they have maps? Yes, they do. Okay. I actually haven't used the maps before in MIT App Inventor. But, uh, yeah, just go through and check these out yourself. Um, You'll notice each of these has some different stuff that the other ones don't. All right, well, the last one, the third one, is Makeroid. And that's spelled Makeroid, M-A-K-E-R-O-I-D. And once again, you can see it's all set up uh, pretty much like MIT App Inventor and Appy Builder and Thunkable. I've actually never even used this one. I uh, had checked it out before, so I am not too sure. It looks like it's pretty much works the same way as the others. Let's see here, monetization, yeah, it's AdMob, and LeadBolt. Um, actually, I think that's another that's a, another uh, monetizing platform. I think I'm not sure if you know. 
leave a comment. Um, like I said, the only thing I use is AdMob in my apps, and you know, we got we got Google, Google account picker. Hmm. Yeah, this one, um, this is one I've never used. The other ones, the Yappy Builder, um, I've used that a few times. Thunkable is the one I originally found as an alternative to MIT App Inventor. And if I'm doing an app where I got to monetize it, I go there. Otherwise, normally I just do my apps in MIT App Inventor, then download the AIA file and go to Thunkable if I'm going to add ads to it. Um, that's rare. Most of my apps that you'll see I do videos for for electronics and stuff I don't bother putting ads on them so all right um well that's the three alternatives to MIT App Inventor if uh, you know of one that I didn't mention here leave a comment below um, a few people mentioned ones that I didn't know about maybe I'll do a part two to this and show the others so I'd like to thank you for joining us here today at the Z Hot. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful. Have a great day, and remember, have fun building apps.